Hello. You're watching a Gospel Moment brought to you by the Liberty Church of Christ in Dennis, Mississippi. My name is David Conley. For the next five minutes, I'd like to invite you to consider this question. What brought the prodigal son out of the pig pen? Our study is taken from Luke chapter number 15, verses 11 through 24. In a previous Gospel Moment, we talked about what took him down into the pig pen. Selfishness and self-centeredness and separation and so forth. It got him into a place that he didn't want to be. It took him from a place of comfort to a place of destitution. But fortunately, the prodigal son come out of that pig pen and the things that he went through to get out of it can help us if we find ourselves in the pig pen of sin, which is mankind's greatest problem. The first thing is he realized. Verse number 17 says he came to himself. That certainly means that he realized exactly what shape he was in. When we are in sin and we're at the bottom, we first must recognize that we are what we are and we are where we are before we can ever make a change and get out of the pig pen. The second thing is found in verse number 18, and that's resolution. He said, I will arise and go to my father. You see, he made a decision. He was there in the pig pen. He recognized where he was. He realized where he was. And he made a resolution. He made a decision. He said, I'm going to get out of this pig pen and I'm going to go back home. And the third thing that he did is repentance. Verse number 19 says, No more worthy to be called thy son. You see, while he was in the pig pen, he thought about his father and he thought about his own situation and he said, You know, I am no more worthy to be called my father's son. That's a sign of godly sorrow, of repentance. He had to come to that point before he can make a move. The next thing is he returned. Verse number 20 says, He arose and he came unto his father. You see, the first three, realization, resolution, and repentance, was all done in his mind. But this next step is action. He had to actually get up out of that pig pen and return. And then there was reconciliation. Verse number 20 says, His father ran to him and kissed him. He was back home, father and son, together again, which is exactly where the father wanted him to be to begin with. And then there was the reclothing. In verse number 22, it said that the father said, Put a robe on his back, a ring on his fingers, shoes on his feet. And this was a Jewish symbol of acceptance and position. You see, his father wanted him to be his son, even though the prodigal son said, I'm no more worthy to be called thy son. I'd rather just, just make me a hired servant. But his father said, no, I want you back in the position that you once were in. And then finally, there's the rejoicing. Verse number 23 and 24 says that they began to be merry. And for good reason. Because this son was lost and now he's found. He was dead, and now he's alive again. You see, we may find ourselves in the pig pen, down so low where we hit bottom. And yes, it was selfishness, and it was self-centeredness, and we separated ourselves, and we led to a position in our life that we just certainly got ourselves into that pig pen. But you don't have to stay there. You can come out. You can, you can realize that you are on drugs. You realize you are an alcoholic. You realize that your relationship with your family is at the bottom. But you don't have to stay there. You can decide and you can repent and you can take action and you can come home to your father, which is exactly where he wants you to be. Why don't we pray? Father God, we thank you so very much for allowing us to approach you even when we may be in the pig pen of sin. Help us to make the decision to come home. And we know that when we do return home that you will reposition us as your child. Thank you so much for your goodness and your mercy and your forgiveness. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. You've been watching a Gospel Moment brought to you by the Liberty Church of Christ in Dennis, Mississippi. 
If you have any questions, comments, or would like to set up a free Bible study correspondence course, please call us at area code 662-454-7362. Thanks for watching A Gospel Moment.